All right. Canelo Alvarez fought Belanga this weekend. Canelo's Canelo in, bro. Yeah, he did his thing still. Canelo. Has Canelo, has Canelo lost a step? It just doesn't matter when you punch on the arms the way he does. Canelo, think... that tactic, that tactic. Let me just quickly talk about that tactic, by the way. Well, um, because there is there there's a speed that has changed, right? But you see his belief in his power. Yeah. Mm. It's mad. And I'm doing this with the Crawford focus right there. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. He wants to hurt your arm. He doesn't want you to be able to throw those punches. He's punching your arms as a tactic to say, well, you got to use them. You got to throw those at me. But how it's not easy to throw those when they're hurting the way. I've seen this guy on the heavy bag, brother. Mm, mm. These, he's loading these shots. It's, it only makes sense because you're like, well, these are not points. Well, they're point scoring type things, but they're just it, it they're meant for just damage to the arm though there is it's not like you know when someone's working on the body and stuff and trying to slowly break you down and them kind of shots or trying to knock you out no i don't want you to be able to lift those mm. tomorrow yeah and fighters it's like you have to you can't really tense up for that really yeah, there's no yeah. Yeah, because you're even in training. Why would you? Why would you spar just punching his glove? Unless you're thinking about Canelo, but I wouldn't even prepare my fighter for that. I tell you the part, yeah, uh, yeah, hundred percent. It's one of the ones where the part I tell you the part that's hard to get hit is to get hit on your bicep, like inside yeah. the inside of the arm. Like you both put, bang and you clap your like bang on your arm. That is my gosh, bro. Like. Those those type of pains are the ones that no one prepares you for. Uh-uh. Like another type is getting hit in the nose and your eyes watering, and it's just oh, like sorry. keep fighting, keep fighting, keep, keep fighting. fighting. There's nothing you can do. You can't turn to the ref. Like so, for me, I do think it's sick. I think it's spiteful. I think it's good. I think Canelo is not on the way. He's on the you know he's a couple feet away from the top of the mountain in, front, in terms of peak Canelo. He's defo on the yes. slip. He's not the same Canelo. I think. I still think he's going to be vulnerable to the way the the way he's the ways that he's lost. He's still open to losing like that again. Yeah. Floyd obviously was Floyd, but Bivol doing the Bivol stuff. I have you there. It's still a, a wound. That's the, that, light, that's, that's the light heavy there. We'll get to that. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. When he go on, carry on, carry on, carry on. Yeah. So what I'm saying is, whilst I see Belanga was, it was he put on a, a valiant effort, but he didn't <laughs> offer anything special for Canelo to deal with. It's just more. I'm just going to try hard. I'm bigger than you in here. I'm just gonna go for it. Like he came in at like 190, something like that on the night. Yes. That's that's a massive rehydration. But you know, Canelo dealt with it, knocked him down spectacularly with that left hook. And they 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 had a war, bro. There's one point at the end of the round, 10 seconds goes, and Canelo oh. does a little walk-off. My man dumps in, bang. He tries oh. to get him, and Canelo turns around saying, Me. No, nah, he landed. No, but then remember, then Canelo's like. Because Canelo walks off early, like, bro, you're not really... That's right. Canelo, like, st- obviously defend yourself at all times, and it got them going. It did get them going, you know? So I saw that one. I was like, the hunger's there. The hunger's there. What Canelo needs to do, though, for me now, we have to see one of these guys. Yeah. We have to see... We have to see Benavidez. And he's probably done a smart thing, because now he's told Benavidez, this fight ain't happening. And he's gone up in weight, yeah? Benavides mm. now has to drain himself to come back. Are That's you right. with me? So he now, himself. like, he's changed himself. And we and we saw, it could be 3D chess that he's playing. We've yeah. seen with, um when Canelo was doing the up and down situation, well, how it affected him in the Bivol. Well, there's nothing you can do about the Bivol one. But it, it plays a difference when you mess around with your body in this in this age or in this part of your career, like it's it, it it's clear, and we mm. I think even um because even let's look at Chris Eubank um Junior. He fought when he fought my brother, the one um the boxing family. It was after he yeah. lost all that weight for yeah. It was after he lost all that weight for um Connor, right? That's right. That's right. And we've not seen. We've not seen, that should never have happened. He should mm. that should never have happened. There's no way that happened. But then again, it's because he, as as the um the senior said, it's because what he done to his body. 
he could have been killed. My son could have, you know, like all them lines there, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's he, you can't do that as a boxer and it gets harder to do late in your career. Has mm. he played a blinder? You know, even says, you know what, the um, hydration clause, this, that, and the other. If he says, hey, Benavidez, I'm ready now. Lose that weight and come see me. Because Benavidez don't, doesn't believe it's a possibility. He feels that that's he, there's more chance of him fighting Crawford than if fighting me. And all you'll hear is, here's the offer. Get, mm. get in shape. That's a good shout. And also, you go back to when Sugar Ray Leonard did that with Roberto Duran in the rematch. He got whisper that this guy's having a party, he's enjoying life. Get that fight done as soon as possible. Now, now he's gonna spend, spend his whole camp losing weight. I can't not, box his ears off. Not mm. thinking about, and that's clever. Those that's really that's that's the that's the game, unfortunately. You know, mm. make them make make them believe it's off, make them because he's even this week when I heard him mention I heard him mention Conor McGregor, and I thought. That's just weird. But then if I'm if I am in the eyes of Benavides, I'll really think I'm not getting this fight. I'm not getting this fight. This guy's talking about Conor McGregor. He's talking about Crawford. I just need to focus on this light heavy thing because that dream, that ticket is not happening. He's fought Belanga. He's fought Great. everybody. Else. And then after all of a sudden, phone rings. Get ready, big man. Ah, oh. we might have clocked the game still. Where does that leave Terence Crawford in this? Um, that's an interesting question, you know. Terence, Terence is just a problem for everyone, though, isn't it? Like in terms of who, it's that risk reward situation. You fight Terence, he's just gonna beat you up. Like Terence is beating up most opponents. Do you see any problems with Terence Crawford? Right now, do you see what, any what, what, Can- what, what, Canelo? No, not Canelo, just in in the division that he's supposed to be fighting in. Well, is that one fifty four now? Yes. Yeah, I mean that guy. What's his name? Fandora. Do you see him as a? Do you the see him? As a, but do you see him as a as as Terence Crawford couldn't manage that work? It's just an awkward matchup because Terence is still going to be small at the weight, isn't it? So my man being like six five, it gets very technical at that point. Like, I think those type of fights will be the ones that we won't see Terence Crawford in, but those ones will just be annoying matchups to deal with. But they said that Madrimov um, was like gonna off. I think he just people just different things happen in there, you know. Mm. Like while it's like yeah, you know, these awkward this that and the other, and there's not much. There's not much. And there's not much tape. There's enough tape on um, Fundora in terms I still worry. of any certain fights. Yeah. I mean, for that one, I just was trying to answer the question with a name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Difficult. But Terence Crawford is, is a special fighter. I do look at the weight and think it's still very much a big jump to 168. From 154 to 168 is massive. Yeah. And the one before is 147. So... Those ones leave things still in a very precarious space, like before we can kind of guarantee yeah, it. And also, and Canelo's uh, power, Canelo's power against a man who was 200 pounds was very significant. I'm like, do we know that Crawford can eat that? It's long. That's the, it, it's long, bro. That's when we, I don't think about him fighting Canelo. I just think, you know what? In uh, Carry on. But, I did see something interesting. What do you see? Terence, Terence Crawford was at the fight on Saturday. Tiafimo Lopez was there. Brother, I see man slap Tiafimo in his face on some calm thing, bro. Man just went... <laughs> T- T- Lopez got mad, walked off, stood not too far away, and just looked like... Give me that. Brother. Give me that. Bad man. Give me that. That fight there, that Give me go that. off still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let me, you know, let me even get the video. I, I, I got it. I don't know if it's going to show that great or not. Please, I haven't seen this. Here we go. Terence Crawford slaps. Man, boxers getting slapped is not open hand as well. Let's see it. Start re re. Run that back a little bit. Wait. I a face smushes him. Is there a face smush? Probably, yeah. 
a fake, yeah, you watch it back. I think it's a face smush, isn't it? it a face smush is very disrespectful. For someone like Tia Fimo as well, he don't want to be smushed on a night out anywhere. Don't smush me, bro. Don't smush me, bro. Because the face smush, I don't even know. I slaps more. The Caleb slap is the worst thing I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> the worst thing I've seen happen to a boxer. I'm sorry. Yeah. 100%. But like, even don't smush, don't smush me. That's so disrespectful. No, it's like Ghost, what Ghost did to Tasha, but then he done the two finger pushback. That one is crazy as well. A fi- this is disrespectful. This is worse. That's that's dude, someone has to go. Yeah, Some, slap the, someone has to go. The, a slap someone has to go. And then slowly walk away, like just a little bit. That like you're not even far, bro. You're so calm in what you did to me just there. You you're you're basically saying. I'm so comfortable about what I just did, yeah? I'm in no rush. I know your whole team's there, but they know I'm Terence Crawford. You know, like that, because I can't see a lot of people around Terence. Yeah, I saw, I'm whooping feet. I saw, <laughs> I saw more people around Haney when Haney was fighting the 5v1. Fam, like, Terence Crawford, he walks in with one brethren. It's long. <laughs> it's long. It's long. It's, you know, but that fight there... Will that's a good fight. Will Tio want to put himself out there like that though? He would definitely want it. I, I, think, think, he, he, I don't think he should know, want it. We've seen Tio do some silly things. Remember when they were reading the book? And it's like, you did? Like he can he can replay a situation in his head because he got pressed in that moment. He did, like yep. he, you know, but then his reaction to it was, I'm sorry you feel that way, brother. You know, like he, the way he spoke here was crazy. A beef, a fight between him and Terence Crawford would be very exciting to watch. I'd take my money. Yeah, take my money, especially now. It's Twenty pounds in the, in the, in, back, in the US. I back Terence Crawford in in pretty much all the fights he's going to be in. I still see a way for him to beat Canelo. It's just a case of the weight, and there's a lot of mad variables. But I'm saying I still see a route for my man to get it done. I'll never underestimate Terence Crawford. That's listen. Like that. If Canelo, if you don't agree with that, because that's kind of like a hot take that I just kind of stumbled on. If Canelo offers out Benavides, yeah, I, I want to be crowned as like a speculation, like super spe- speculation king. Like, I think I have to have my, it'll be the Kobe, um, it'll be the Kobe moment <laughs> with the championship, bro. I, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be crazy. All right, you know, let us know. Let us know what you think. Canelo, let us know if you still have... Let us know if you've... Even that Crawford thing as well, if you want to see that fight as well. Um, We move.